This week is Child Passenger Safety Week, and we have David Green from Green and Phillips with us today to discuss a very important topic that every parent and caregiver should be aware of, and that's child seat safety. David, it's good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, so we're going through this right now with the car seats. What's really tough sometimes for some parents is to make sure that that car seat is properly installed. What do you guys have to say about that? Well, it's very important to make sure you have someone look at it. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure you put it in, and we all, as dads and moms, we think we've got and sometimes we don't and so you need to make sure you follow the instructions make sure they're tight make sure they're properly fitted make sure the straps are properly fitted mm -hmm. just basic understanding of how these things work and if you can read your manuals and talk to folks that do it you know the, the troopers in, in Alabama they help with those in some cases and some sometimes mobile police does as well but you need to talk to someone that understands how to put those in because they can be it can be a horrible horrible situation if your child is not properly belted in that seat yeah that's right what are some of those common mistakes you guys have seen and crashes that you've covered? Well, I mean, many times the straps are loose yeah. or they're not even connected. So you have to, I see, I've seen people going down Airport Boulevard or some of the other roads and sometimes children are not even in the seats. So make sure your child, first of all, is in a car seat, whether it be a car seat, a booster seat, or the rear facing seat. Make sure if they're, they're smaller, I think it's under a year, they should be turned backwards mm -hmm. and then turned forward. But you need to read the rules and make sure I'm not wrong on that. But there are three different types. Make sure you look at those rules and follow those rules because it can make a huge difference if you're involved in a crash. We've had crashes that have been very, very severe where parents have been severely injured and the child has been in the car seat and they're unhurt. Yeah. So unharmed at all and it can make a huge difference. I mean, statistically, percentage wise, if you're not in a car seat, a child can be very, very severely injured. Yeah, for sure. And that's the goal as a parent to protect your child. And so it's super important. What should parents be doing here locally to make sure that their car seat is installed correctly? Well, there are various events available mm -hmm. right now. I don't know of any that are set, but there are various events that you can go to. If there's a car, car seat safety seminar, it's hard to say that, <laughs> uh, then you can get someone to look at it. Or I, I'm sure you can stop by the state trooper's office and ask them, or maybe even the police department. They can look at it and perhaps determine whether or not it's installed properly, but you really need to look at it. But look at the manual and follow those instructions and make sure it's secure, make sure it's tight. Very important, make sure it's tight, make sure the straps are tight. That is so crucial because we wanna make sure these babies are safe. That's exactly right. Now let's talk about the very unfortunate incident that there is a minor crash with a child in the backseat. What are the first steps that need to be taken? Number one, call 911, treat it like any other crash, make sure the authorities come out, make sure you let someone know that there's a child in the car. Yeah. Super important, you might not see them. There may be all these things going on. Make sure you let them know there are children in the backseat. Officers are gonna, are, they're trained to look for that. They're going to see, but make sure you call 911, seek medical treatment, and then talk to a local law firm like the lawyers at Green and Phillips. Very, very important to do that. Yeah, David, if someone does want to give you guys a call, how can they do that? It's very simple. Go to greenphillips.com or call us at 251-300-2000. All right, David, thank you.